Welcome to The Passion Pod with your host, Chris Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the feature presentation. Welcome to the show, the best mustache in town. Who are you? <laughs> My name is Ryan Aker. Ryan Aker, from who? What band? You I, play right, right now, right? I play banjo and write songs for The Last Revel. And you're here for Blue Ox. Did you perform yet? You I per- have not. Are you performing just once for this whole festival? Just once okay. tonight at 11.30 p.m. Is this your first time being here? No. No. The band's played here three times. And you played in it all three times? Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 Cool. Are you a founding member of the band? Yeah. Yes, how I long, am. How long has the band been around? 2013. Okay, so it's yeah. been a minute. Yeah. How old are you? I was 22. No, so now. Oh, I'm 33. Oh, okay. So you're the same age as me, basically. I'm 32. Then my question is, how do you get into banjo? Good question. It was kind of, I think it was kind of just like it was a vehicle that the band needed. Oh. I, I, I grew up with a guitar player. Yeah. And um, the band... You know, Lee, my other bandmate, already played guitar. It's like we didn't really need a second guitar player, so it's like, well, what else am I gonna try? I was like, I guess I'll try the banjo. Sure. It was, it was more, it was like, it was just kind of what ha- had to happen, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I just, it's, I'm, I don't really consider myself like a great banjo player. <laughs> it's more of just like a vehicle for um, songwriting and sure. like the collaboration with my bandmates. Yeah. So you still play regular guitar a lot, or do you yeah, ever, like do yeah. other solo stuff too? Then. Yep. Yes, I okay. do. What's your solo stuff? Uh, it's just under my name oh, okay. and it's, um, you know, folky singer songwriter, like finger picking. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You know. Lots of like sit around the campfire kind of playing stuff. Uh, I like to think so. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's cool. a good That's how spot I feel for about, it. Like uh, shaky graves. Like he yes. was here last year. And yeah. Anytime I tell people what his music's like, that's what I describe. So if you're going to describe the band's music, like if you had to give a little pitch as far as this is why this is something different that you want to listen to, what's the sound? Gosh, it's like, um, we use the, f- the phrase front porch Americana quite a bit. Cool. And it's, uh, you know, like three-part harmonies, like a very songwriter-driven, but it's got some energy behind it. Sure. Um, and uh, yeah, we make a lot of noise for just three of us in the band. Brad, do you guys each play more than one instrument, or you just play We do those? some switching. Oh, okay. So th- to the set tonight, like I'll take guitar for a while, and Lee will play, play bass, and then Lee will play banjo, and Vinny will play bass, and then he'll sure. play fiddle. It's like it just kind of just switches. Yeah. <laughs> it well, keeps it interesting. We're going to pick a song, but first, I want you to give me the story behind the song of how it was created. What song are we going to play before we play it? Tell me the story behind the song. Gosh, um, I'm going to request that you play a song that I wrote for the band that's on our new EP. Uh, The song is called Everywhere I Go. And a little bit of backstory with the band. We took a pretty decent hiatus in 2020. It was actually right before COVID happened. So it's kind of like perfect timing. Yeah. (laughs) Because nobody was expecting us to play during COVID anyways. But we took a little bit of a break. And um, honestly, it was like I wasn't sure. that I didn't think it was going to get back together. I don't think it was. I thought I was over, to be honest. And um, just this last fall... uh, Lee reached back out and, um, you know, posed the question if we wanted to get back together and do it again. And um, it was an enthusiastic yes from Vinny and I. So we got together and kind of like broke the ice at the end of last year and um, made some plans to record some music in uh, February of 2022. And I, I went home after that trip and preparing for that uh, studio time I wrote Everywhere I Go, which is... Uh, I mean, it's a, it's about the band for sure. Oh, okay, cool. The whole story behind it, the vibe behind it. Okay, well, it's time we hit that song. Thank you so much for coming on the show. One more time, where can people go listen to your music if they want to reach out and ask you further questions? This is so brief. How yeah. would they get a hold of you? Gosh, I think social media would be the best way. You can find the band at The Last Revel on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that good stuff. So perfect. We're gonna to listen to the song, and then everyone's gonna come send you a DM, and you'll be overloaded with them. All right. Thanks for having me. Of course. <laughs> Crooked constellations show the man I was before Tore apart the wilderness, never found a thorn Walked along the river's edge, ringing bells running through my head I thought I knew you once, but now I know I carry you with me everywhere I go I 
carry you with me everywhere I go. This fickle heart is made of stone. Nine pound hammer, take me home. I carry you with me everywhere I go. Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Passion Pod. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you soon.